So at first I questioned it with Lee, how was I going to create these big diamond pieces for your shows? And he said, no, no, we're not going to make them out of gold and diamonds. We'll use silver, we'll use aluminium, we'll use brass, we'll use feathers. Lee then gave me a creative freedom. He made me see beauty in materials I'd never thought of before. My journey began at the age of 15 years old. I trained classically as a fine goldsmith. From this wild little kid, I was being fed so much information that I absolutely fell in love with goldsmithing. By the age of 18, I was making diamond tiaras for Aspreys. I was 22 when I finished my apprenticeship, and then that's when I met Alexander McQueen. When Lee learned of my skill and what I was capable of and what I was doing as a fine jeweller, it was then when he asked me, would I craft for and make things for his shows? That in itself was a real moment in serendipity, I think, because at that point in my career, I was becoming quite restless. I had a voice, but I couldn't portray it in the works that I was working on. I wasn't designing. I was quite conditioned in the way that I thought that diamonds were set with white gold and platinum, emeralds were put in yellow gold. Lee then taught me to have an open mind and I think once you have an open mind, whatever skill set you have or whatever person you are, you can apply that to anything and you can create your dreams, you can create beauty. The coil corset, it's a really great example of how me and Lee pushed the boundaries. With the Burmese net pieces, those tribes would decorate their necks, they would decorate their arms, they would decorate their legs, but they never decorated a whole torso. So it was us pushing cultural jewellery to another level, because we wanted to create the beautiful, but there was always something about a voice and creating something that was new. The glove to me is a very, very important part of my story. It's a real symbol about what the house of Sean Lean is. We are a fine jewellery house that is fearless and is there to push the boundaries. It's 1,000 grams of gold, it's 72 carats of diamonds. It took four years to make. It pushed the boundaries in design because nobody has ever designed a diamond 18 karat white gold glove before. And it bridged fashion and high-end fine jewellery. It was the last piece Lee had an input and then Lee passed away. Whether I'm creating a tiara or I'm creating a corset or I'm creating a building, the finest details matter to me. This auction is the perfect platform for me and for those pieces to go on to the next chapter of their existence. I think wherever they end up will be the answers to those questions. Are they art? Are they fashion? Are they jewellery? It should be out there doing what it was initially created to do and that was to inspire and to provoke.